Hello, so I am actually filming this on the next day because yesterday when I got home from city I was just like so exhausted like I literally had to like lie on the sofa and fan myself while drinking a cup of banana milk so I mean well but now I am all rested and refreshed so I thought I would just give a quick debrief of what happened yesterday and show you my book haul and what I bought. So yesterday I went to the city at about like 4.30 and we parked at Russell Street but then I had to go to the post office to like post a textbook I am selling and so the post office closes at like five o'clock and I have never been to a post office at city so I had to like search for one and I found one and I found one close to Melbourne Central at like Lonsdale Street so I decided to go I only had like half an hour to like reach the post office before it closes so I went it's like on the like intersection between Lonsdale Street and Elizabeth Street so I walked from Russell Street all the way to Elizabeth Street and I just couldn't find the post office for some reasons and then like it took me like 10 minutes to actually realize that I am standing on the Trope Street not Lonsdale Street so I mean so that's probably a proof of my knowledge of Melbourne City but anyway so um by the time I realized like I was on the wrong street like it was already like 10 minutes before like five o'clock so I thought there was like no point going because like it's gonna like close anyways so I went to inside Melbourne Central and I went to Muji and got my gel pens so these are the gel pens I bought so they're mainly 0 0.5 thickness because I don't really like really thin gel pens so yeah yeah like excited to try them out they are like the only gel pens that I find actually like work well and doesn't like bleed through the page or like cannot write on like certain surfaces and they write like really smooth as well so that's a really big plus and then after Muji I went to the bookshop because I needed to buy Middlemarch for the upcoming read on the book club I am part of called Hardcore Literature Club where like we basically just read like different classics and and we go through like a different like big read book every single month as well as like smaller like poems and plays so anyway so I went to QBD because that's the bookshop that was in Melbourne Central and I looked for Middlemarch but they didn't have it so I just bought like a few like other books on discount because I literally cannot like go to a bookshop and not and not come out with books so these are the books I got from QBD so there's Utopia by Thomas More which is an essay that I've heard a lot about and I've been wanting to like read it for a long time but I've never came across it so now I have it and I can read it so yeah excited to read it and I got The Son of Achilles because I've also heard a lot about this book and I've been meaning to like 
get myself a copy but as i am unvaccinated so i can't go to the library and borrow books so i had to buy a copy from the bookshop so yeah and then i also got this collection of children classics and these books were like on discount and they were like two for 30 which is such like a big discount because like one of these books cost like 20 bucks but like two of them if you buy like two of them together like they only cost like 15 bucks but like if you want to like buy them like online on like booktopia or somewhere like they literally cost like 25 bucks but i only got it for 15 bucks so that's a really big discount and also like these are like literally like these are hard copy books and they're like gold rimmed and the cover designs right they're like so nice like i can't believe these only cost like 15 bucks like literally this cost 20 bucks so anyway so so i got six children classics there's the mayor of casterbridge a portrait of the artist as a young man mrs Stellaway, the sonnets Tess of the Dierbells and the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. I, I absolutely just love the cover designs of children classics. I mean like just look at this. Like the pages are like they feel like magazine paper, like they're like those really shiny and thick pages because they don't happen to have middle much. I had to walk all the way to the mix on column street because that's like main like store like the biggest store for the mix and they've got like the like most like number of books the most like comprehensive collection of books and i finally found middle march like they literally have like five different copies of middle march but i decided to pick this one the penguin classics one because this is like the classic edition and it's got a lot of like introductions and notes and stuff which would be helpful when i read this book along with hardcore literature club and i also got how decent folk behave by maxine beniva clark which is a poetry collection which I've decided to choose to analyze for my book review for my poetry subject because for poetry we had to like write one of our assessments is to write a book review on an anthology of contemporary Australian poetry and so I just chose this one it is published it is published last year and basically just like a collection of poems that detail the events that has happened since 2020 like with the coronavirus and the black lives matters movement and the bushfires and just basically like all the major events that affected australia and that's all the books i have got and after i bought these books it was already like past six o'clock and so and my mom told me to like call her at six o'clock because that's like around the time that she would have finished doing her hair and so but i still had to like go to food court to like buy dinner and so i so I had to walk from Collins Street all the way back to Melbourne Central to the food court so I can like buy pizza and pasta because like my dad really liked the pizza and pasta at like that store in the food court. 
So I had to walk all the way back from Collins Street to Burke Street and then go through Maya and then the Emporium and then to Melbourne Central and then finally I bought the pizza and the pasta and by the time I've like bought everything like it was already like 6 20 and so I called my mom and then she was like oh she's like nearly done and um she'll be done by like 6 30 like in 10 minutes and that I should like just walk back to Russell Street and then by the time I arrived she would be done and so I started to head my way out but then just as I was heading out I saw a store on the level below that's selling hair clips earlier my mum had mentioned that she wanted to get some new hair clips and since her birthday is coming up so I decided to get her some as a birthday present so I went downstairs and then got the hair clips and then I was going to go up but then the escalator broke so I had to like walk around and try to find like another like escalator just so I can like go back upstairs and then I am so unfamiliar with Melbourne Central that I literally just like went everywhere trying to look for like a lift so I can go back up I had to walk like almost back to the Emporium just so I can like find like a working lift and then I went back up and at that time right it was already like 6 45 and I was like running like so late so I literally just like ran all the way from Melbourne Central all the way back to Russell Street with all these books in my backpack plus this heavy textbook that I didn't manage to sell so by the time I reached Russell Street again like my back was literally just like breaking apart so yeah and then we just went to buy some more dinner at QB and just headed back home and so that was my eventful first time going in the city in a year and so yesterday was like such an exhausting and tiring day but i am glad that i managed to do some book shopping and get some gel pens which i really needed and yeah like it was nice being able to like go back out into the city and just walk around and run around streets and getting lost in melbourne central and yeah so hope you've enjoyed watching this video like this is a really chatty video and thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video